basically sitting here knitting on a new costume which is a sweater it is just a basic stripe sweater for the big made on six millimeter needles out of this yarn so that's what i'm doing today i thought that before i end this vlog i would address a question that come up in the comment section from last from yesterday's vlog uh, yesterday i didn't actually get to do any filming so i put in some driving videos from when i was driving across norway which is i didn't drive fully across norway but i was in the car for 25 hours from here to bergen and then took a little detour and back home so I think I had about 70 hours in the car in a week or a little bit, yeah, somewhere around there. Anyway, I took a lot of photos while driving and I put up some of them just yesterday in the vlog and I got a question uh, asking about the fact that we don't have the stripe in the middle of the road uh, in some places and if I could explain why that was. I tried to start explaining that it as an answer but I thought I'll just do it here instead. And um, we do have the stripe in the middle of the road. It is supposed to be yellow. Uh, I don't think that's usual in the rest of Europe. I think it's normally white, but yellow shows better under the snow. So therefore, with Norway has a yellow stripe in the middle of the road. Uh, also, you know that a yellow stripe when you cross a yellow when you cross uh, when you drive across a yellow stripe, then the traffic will be coming in the opposite direction on the other side. So there's a yeah. Uh, so we have white stripes on the like edges and then a yellow stripe in the middle. Uh, but the thing is that normally we have um, complete white stripes along both sides and yellow stripes in the middle. Uh, but for that to happen, you, ha you have to have room to meet two cars. Um, that basically means that the road has to be 6 meters or 19 feet wide. If it's less than that, uh, you don't get to have the yellow strap because it's not big enough to actually meet two cars. Of course, if it's just a little bit smaller than two meters, um, and that, if it's just a little bit smaller than six, six meters, then that's okay and you can, like two normal cars that normal people drive, like, what's it called? Yeah, like my Ford or whatever, we could meet, but two semi trailers can't meet there without having to go really slowly past each other. I don't know if you saw any of that in the video, but we had uh, quite a big car, so when we met uh, other big vehicles, we had to, like, it can be hard to come up uh, to pass them because the road is so narrow, and that's why we don't have a, that's why we don't have the yellow strap everywhere, just because the road isn't wide enough to actually meet, actually meet two cars. Uh, the road has to be in six meters in total, or 19 feet wide, and each of the section for uh, um, each of the sides of the yellow stripe has to be 2.75 meters, which is about 9 feet, I think. The comment said that uh, here, when you don't have that strap, that usually means that it's, um, I don't know the English word, and it's short, it's you can only drive in one direction. Um, we don't really have many of those roads in Norway, just because these roads are the roads that I mean, seriously, the, the roads that we drove on in that video are the big roads in Norway. It's a road that goes between north and south, and it's like between me and my parents' house. We don't have that yellow stripe everywhere, and it can't be. They they can't make it wider because of the mountains and the sea. Probably now they can because they are able to blow out more mountain. But I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know how these things work. But it's not possible to make the road wider. Uh, so you can't make it a single drive because if you have to, if you have to go. The, the road, the, the country is so narrow that it's actually just one road that goes from the north to south, especially in the north, it's on the E6 that goes through the whole of Norway. And it, uh, especially in the north, the north of Norway, if you have seen the map of Norway, you can see that the country is really quite narrow. So you only have one road, for instance, like between me and my parents, there is only one road, they live a little bit farther north than me, only like 40 kilometers, but anyway. And if I was to go in any other way to go to them, I would either have to drive, as I said, it's 40 kilometers, it's about a 40 minute drive there, and if I was to go in any other ways to them, I would have to take a two hour, two hour ride, two hour car ride, 
ferry for 40 minutes, then another ferry in another direction from the same place for 60 minutes, and then I will have to drive for three hours again. So that's like the detour route that we can have. And uh, so yeah that's basically that's the reason we don't have the yellow stripe in the road it's just because their road aren't roads aren't wide enough and you can't make them a single driver road because people have to go in both directions and there aren't any other roads and yeah if you look at the map of norway and if you know i don't expect people to know about norwegian geography is like but if you know a little bit about norway it's fully understandable that the roads especially in the north are narrow because now I think it's possible to make them wider in many places, but lots of places it just isn't possible. Take Lofoten for instance, you can't make the roads um, bigger without blowing out a lot of mountain, and that would probably make the whole mountains fall together. Because you... Yeah. So, I hope that answers your question. That was a little bit longer than I intended it to be, but feel free to ask me anything down below and also if you have any follow-up questions to that just um, pop them down below and i will answer them tomorrow thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this video if you did hit the thumbs up and subscribe button down below and i will be up with a new video for you tomorrow night bye